if I let's see if this works. Okay, uh, we're recording now. Okay, so um, we're going to do another uh, grinder pump alarm test, and here I'm just going to uh, show you uh, the first part of the test, which is to fill the bathtub with 25 gallons. And you can see here that this tub, which is fairly normal, 25 gallons is uh, just about exactly what it will take before it gets to the overflow right underneath the, the uh, spigot. But we did fill it up with a, bu with a bucket here that we um, had marked at a three gallon level. Okay, I'm going to go outside now and we're, we're ready to let this down. I'm at the house of Jan Rossi and she's going to help me with the test. Okay, Jan, I'm going to go outside and wait for my sign. Let's see, here we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the uh, electricity for the pump. Okay, which is this breaker on the left. So now the pump will not run. Okay, Jan, let the water down. And um, this will take now a few minutes before the alarm goes off. I'm going to, um, can you go inside and pick up my briefcase? And also I had a wrench, an adjustable ratchet wrench with, and, a, and a clipboard on the kitchen table. Thank you, Tony. Now we'll just wait here. The, um, the water is going to fill into the pump. It's going to take a few minutes. While we're doing that, let me just look at the, uh, her panel here. Now, one thing that you want to check for on your panel is you want to make sure that water is not able to get inside your panel. It has a rubber gasket, but you should check that gasket and make sure it's in good condition. And also, you should check your panel and look and to make sure that there are no holes that are drilled in the back of the panel or, or any other location on the panel because those are spots where water can get into the panel. This panel is about two years old and it looks like it's in good condition. Okay, thank you. Uh, now some people have asked about, um, they couldn't find their serial number. And um, the serial number of every pump, it, it can, you can find under the pump cover. So while this is filling up with water, I'm just going to remove these screws. There are just three screws bolts on the top of the pump cover. I'm just going to take those off. Also, Jan had mentioned that she did not have the paperwork for her grinder pump. And sometimes, okay, sometimes the paperwork is actually hanging inside the, the, uh, the pump, the drywell. In this case, it is not. The drywell is dry, which is a good sign. You can't really see with the light here, but um, if there was a problem with water getting inside the drywell, then you'd see it here. There'd be water inside. Now. Right here, this is the overflow vent uh, for, the, for the wet well. Uh, if there is an overflow condition, water will come out of, this, out, of, out of this vent here. This gasket should be in good condition because this gasket is going to seal that so that that overflow does not make it back into the dry well, which you do not want. This is the vent for the dry well. You notice that it's it's got it's raised up so if this overflows and if that overflow is uh, runs off onto the ground it will not fill up the, your dry well which you do not want if you have an overflow you do not want it to fill up your dry well that's why you want the land to be uh, graded away from the pump you do not want it to pull up this looks okay um, this pump cover is looks like it's okay okay the alarm's gone off so I'm going to go over 
and I'll turn Jan's pump back on. Okay, now the pump is going to start running. But it, it will take, it could take several minutes for the, um, for the pump to pump out. Because we just put in 25 gallons. The pump will pump about 8 gallons or 10 gallons a minute. And it could take one or two minutes now just to pump out the water below the alarm level. So what I'll do is I'll turn off the, I'll silence the alarm just like we did in the other one. There's the silence button. Okay, the, the alarm is silenced, but the red light is still on. Okay. And uh, while we're waiting for uh, the red light to go off, that is for the pump to uh, complete, I'll just show you a little diagram here of the, uh, the pump. You can see here that this is the grinder pump and this is the wet well down here. The pump pumps between 24 gallons and 32 gallons. Normally, the alarm level is at 47 gallons. We had to add 25 gallons because we had to make sure that we got it above the alarm level. The entire tank capacity is 70 gallons. So we could have actually added more. We had some safety margin. Um, but I, did, I didn't want to overdo it. Jan's bathtub wouldn't hold more than 25 gallons anyway, so that's actually pretty good. Um, in the event of a, uh, a power outage, if your pump is uh, obviously not running, if you have, uh, you can go actually up to 70 gallons before you'd have, a, uh, before this would start a backup. And that's going to give you 30 uh, eight gallons anyway before you reach that point. If you have a remote sentry alarm, you'll have an alarm that will go off at 47 gallons. That's going to give you another 23 gallons after that alarm goes off. Okay, let's just check. It looks like the light is gone off. No, it's still on because the pump's running. The pump just went off. I just heard it go off and I can see here that the um, light's gone off. So everything here was a successful test. Um, what I'm going to do is, this is a test that should be done once a year, and I'm just going to write down in Jan's box here, 11, 23, 13, alarm test. Okay? And um, that way, uh, in case a new owner comes in, they'll know that this was tested on this day. Okay, so that's, that's, that's everything for today. That's the test. Um, Jan, I, I noticed, I remember that you said that you, were, you had just bought this house in August. Mm -hmm. And um, when you bought the house, um, you said that the uh, grinder pump was, um, was on the uh, disclosure statement. Is that right? Yeah. That's right. And, um, but did you know very much about grinder pumps when you bought the house? Yes, because of uh, my old house in uh, Chelmsford. They had thought that I would need a grinder pump, and um, they rechecked and decided I didn't. So oh. I had done a lot of research at that point. Oh, okay, great.